Hey folks, this is Jeff from the New Janky Workshop, and today we're going to be taking all of this, putting a hole in the side of the house, and making an exhaust for the Glowforge. Links to all these things can be found in the description below. Let's do it! Then hopefully not screw it up. Hopefully. Oh, help me! Let's see what we've got here. We've got stainless steel hose hangers. Great stuff, gap and crack filler. 10 foot flexible metal pipe, an inline duct fan for extra fan stuff, this fun thing, an elbow, our exhaust vent, fancy cable guys, an inline switch to control the duct fan, extension cords, also for the duct fan, and a four inch hole saw. Oh, this is gonna be the scariest part because this is gonna be the part that I put through the side of my house. Have this with our drill bit, have our hole saw. You can see there's a threaded piece there. This screws into there like so. And then you can see there's a bunch of holes under here. This secondary thing we twist up here drops these little feet into the hole, so we want to lock that in place so this doesn't go anywhere and it can't spin. Cool, huh? And then we got some extra drill bits which come with it and an Allen key for tightening the drill bit in there. Like, so get it in there tight good to go all right let's uh cause some damage so this vent goes on the outside it does have screw holes right here you can see on the sides for attaching it to the duct i also want to be able to attach it to the house so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drill through the center of this casting uh remnants here um so i can Attached to the house. And I think I'll do them. I'll do them on the sides. This should be fine. Why not? Get a build, build it, drill bit chucked in here. I'm going to use some tapping paste. That is just yucky stuff. Needs to be shaken up. Shaken, not stirred. Yeah. Mixed like you said, sir, and not stirred. Thank you. Anything else, sir? No, that's all. Very well, sir. Try that again. There's one. Perfecto. Now let's get two. I'll try not to have the tapping face fluid thingy stuff. There we go. I can now screw that into the side of the house. The time has come. I'm going to run this. You can see it. The exhaust for this up and outside of the house so we don't have to worry about this thing mother what we're gonna run the duct we work for to replace is this this is the glowforge filter this is fantastic it's got uh settings for low speed and high speed however the filter is clogged it's full this thing right here now this thing is, like I said, amazing. Run this thing down here straight up for about like four months. No problems at all. However, once this thing fills up, this place filled up with smoke, and I thought something was on fire when I came back down to check on it. So, this needs to be replaced. However, the filters alone, they're awesome. Cost $250. And last time I looked, there was a delay of about three months to get one. So, in order for this to still be a cost-effective tool, I need to do something else. Now, I tried one. I think it's by Vivo, which also makes one on Amazon. Um, you can see it for about 250 bucks. It doesn't work. Filled up the basement with smoke every time I used it. So, we're going to run the ducting. But first things first, I have to clean all this up. So, let me do that. I got to work with.
So, got to dodge copper pipes that go to the outside. Or actually up to the kitchen. And then I got to get around those electrical wires. So this should be fun. Should be fine. No problems. I'm just drilling a hole in the side of my house. Again. Okay. So that's going to be on the outside. Right there. And then this is going to be connected right behind it as another airflow to suck air out of the tube in addition to what's in the Glowforge. That's going to be up there. And then I have this little power button here so I can turn the fan off and on easily in line as it hangs down here and goes to plug in the wall there. So that's the plan. I'm going to go out that way. That's the sink. So wish me luck. Fun.